2018 Hyundai Elantra GT First Review It's understandable if you aren't familiar with the Hyundai Elantra GT. The GT is a hatchback not a red-hot segment in America and it's eclipsed by the Hyundai's best-selling sedan, the Elantra. The Elantra GT has been a part of the Elantra family since the 2013 model year, but for 2018 the five-door hatch receives a welcome restyle and some feisty attitude. Since its inception, the Elantra GT was based on the European Hyundai i30, a hatchback with a chassis designed for sportier driving. While you might not think of Hyundai in that context, the Korean automaker recently unveiled the high-performance N version of the all-new Hyundai i30, which is going on sale in Europe by the end of this year. No, there won't be an Elantra GTN. But Hyundai is eyeing the Volkswagen Golf GTI as a direct competitor for the GT. Really? Elantra vs GTI? While it doesn't have the same refinement as the GTI or the same amount of power, Hyundai has a legitimate hot hatch that is oodles of fun to drive while costing thousands less than the VW. The Elantra GT's new styling makes the hatchback longer, lower and wider and gives it a bolder road presence. This is further enhanced on sport models with sport seats, red accents around the air vents, and red contrast stitching on the steering wheel and transmission shifter cover. But sport isn't a styling package. It's more like the GTI to Volkswagen's Golf. Backing the 201 horsepower turbocharged 1.6-liter four-cylinder is a seven-speed dual-clutch transmission, DCT, with paddle shifters. If you want, you can leave it in drive and have a blast, but we tap 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 the paddles during our time behind the wheel. It's hard not to, acceleration is wonderfully quick from a stop, plus steering was quite good. The car is engaging to drive, encouraging you to use of the paddle shifters. Want even more direct engagement? A six-speed manual is also available. The sport's sport-tuned multi-link independent rear suspension made it a pleasure to zip around on mountain and canyon roads. The sport's brakes are larger than in the standard GT, as is the wheel and tire package, 18-inch versus 17s. Braking was firm and confident, but there was more interior noise in the sport than the regular GT. Not only does the Sport offer the practicality of 25 cubic feet of space behind the rear seats, but it offers more efficiency than you would think. With the 7-speed DCT, fuel economy is an EPA-rated 26 miles per gallon in the city, 32 miles per gallon on the highway and 28 miles per gallon combined. That's better than the 2018 Elantra GT with the base 2.0-liter engine and automatic transmission, 24 city 32 highway, 27 combined, and better than in any 2017 Elantra GT. So with the GT Sport, you can get a car that's got more power, is more fun to drive, and is more fuel efficient.